In this lecture, we'll give a brief introduction about Jenkins and the history of Jenkins. Jenkins is a continuous integration and build server. It's used to manually, periodically, or automatically build software development projects. These project builds can include complication, running automated tests, packaging application, or even deploy to production. Jenkins is an open source continuous integration tool written in Java. Jenkins is used by teams of different sizes for projects with various languages such as Java, .NET, PHP, Ruby, Groovy, etc. So why Jenkins have been so widely used? Firstly, it's very easy to use. The UL is simple, intuitive, and visually appealing. And Jenkins as a whole has a relatively low learning curve. As we'll see in the next few lectures, you can get started with Jenkins in just a few minutes. Also, it has great extensibility. It's extremely flexible and easy to adapt to your own purposes. You can find thousands of open source plugins are available. These plugins provide various functionalities, such as version control systems, code quality metrics, build notifiers, UI customization, etc. Next, let's talk about the history of Jenkins. Jenkins was originally developed as the Hudson project. Hudson's creation started in the summer of 2004 at Sun Microsystems. One of Sun's developers called Kuski Kawakuchi started the project as a hobby project under the name of Hudson in late 2004. It was first released in February 2005. As Hudson evolved over the years, it was adopted by more and more teams within Sun for their own projects. By early 2008, Sun recognized the value of Hudson and asked Kuski to work on Hudson full-time and to provide professional services and support around Hudson. By 2010, Hudson had become the leading continuous integration solution with a market share of over 70%. In January of 2011, the project name was changed from Hudson to Jenkins. That's it for this lecture. I hope you've enjoyed it.